In this morning's Money Watch, P&G warns that price hikes for everyday products aren't over just yet. And investors wait for the latest weekly jobless claims out this morning. Jane King is live in New York following these stories and more for us. Jane, good morning. Hi, Ashley. Good morning. Yes, yeah, so Thursday we get weekly jobless claims. Those will be at 8.30 this morning. We expect them to take a little bump higher, but still stay near pre-pandemic levels. So the Omicron variant likely did disrupt uh, the labor market recovery that we had been seeing. So we think that will show up in today's weekly numbers. Uh, we think it will be about 230,000 uh, people filing for first-time unemployment benefits. Well, Procter & Gamble says items like Tide detergent and some personal health care products will get more expensive. It's blaming higher commodity and freight costs. Now, beginning February 28th, the increase will mainly be in its fabric care products. So this includes laundry pods, scent beads, fabric softeners, and dryer sheets from brands like Tide, Gain, Downy, and Bounce. And Starbucks has suspended its plan to require baristas be vaccinated or get weekly COVID tests. Now, this is in the wake of the Supreme Court ruling that struck down the Biden administration's COVID protection mandate. Starbucks also banned banned employees from wearing cloth masks and instead they're going to have to wear more medical grade masks. Well, stocks finished lower yesterday. It was an up and down session. The Nasdaq officially now in a correction. So that means a 10% drop from its recent high. Does look like we'll open up this morning though. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Talkers this morning, we thank you so much for all those updates.